Yo, what is good, YouTube? Jay Lock come up here. Today, I'm going to show you guys the best 1v1 build. If you guys are looking for a build to 1v1 with that isn't a trash post score, this is the build. He can guard anybody. He can ISO. He can shoot really well. And look at the stats really quick. There's a couple ways that you can make him, but this is the two-way pass first guard, two-way pass first wing, or the play glass. But do not make the play glass. It is terrible compared to this build i'm gonna show you guys everything i'm gonna show you guys my stats i'm gonna show you guys my badges let's get into it all right guys so first of all go to your features go to your settings and you guys want to make sure that you are in the metric system for this build i will show you why but that's mainly if you want to get 99 speed at six foot seven now guys this build you need to make it a small forward whatever you do don't make it a power forward the play gas sucks this year you get way less playmaking badges and you don't really gain anything if much at all. I made a shooting guard. Shooting guard a small forward is not a big difference. It's a couple attribute points, but the best is for sure a small forward. We're gonna go with this pie chart, the yellow and red. I'm gonna go with the speed pie chart and I'm gonna show you guys all the stats really quick. Very easy. You want to get six finishing just like that. You want to get seven on your shooting. You want 20 playmaking. And obviously if you want the 1v1, uh type of build you have to max out into your defense you have to max out your block and i had a little less in my offensive rebound it's not that big of a difference so you have a 21 defensive and rebounding now if you're not too worried about the ones or playing inside much you can lower your interior defense some get 19 badges and you could put the rest of that on shooting if you really, really wanted to, to get 10 shooting, and that's pretty good, or even on playmake if you want that. But to me, this is the best return. You already locked down, and I want to lock down every single position. Go with compact. Now, height. This is the important thing right here. So 2.01 meters is six foot seven. This is about six, seven and a half. And this is six eight. So as you look at your stats, choose what you want. Now I chose this 2.01. I like the 2.02. I'll show you both of them really quickly. But you see here how the speed is at 90. And you don't get 91. So we could do to do to get the extra speed. You go all the way down and you go right back up to 2.01. It's very weird. It's glitchy. I don't know how or why this happens. But there's your 91 speed. If you're concerned about getting 99 speed. Balkan handle is at 76, so at 99 you get 80, you get all the animations. I um, finesse Curry slide on this build. People get mad as fuck at me, but I, I really don't care. So those are the stats for that. Now I'm really liking this right here, and you can just honestly jack up the weight. Um, the speed will ball is not a big difference. It's like it's five, which is a lot. But if you're really concerned about guarding people in the paint. This is, this is really good too. Look at the stats. Like at 99, you get a lot of your defensive stats in the 80s. You still get a good ball handle. You get above 75. You really only need a 70 to 75 ball handle. 80 doesn't do much right now. I'm just concerned about later in the year. So do whatever you want, guys. I went with this um, six foot seven. I like being fast up to you he still guards centers pretty well strength sucks it would help a lot more with more strength um also at the taller and bigger you get glass cleaning takeover so be aware of that but i'm going with slash take and there we go we have a two-way pass first wing shooting guard will say guard and then power forward will say the playmaking glass cleaner play glass sucks I'm gonna show you guys all my animations as well as my badges. All right, guys, here is my badges for everything. I have Limitless Takeoff on Silver. You get that Scotty Pippen dunk. It's really good. Silver Finisher Bronze and Posterizer Gold. He doesn't get a whole lot of contact dunks, but I like getting clips. Um, and yeah, that's why I Posterizer Gold. Now, this is 100% the best setup if you're going to play the ones court, okay? Um, Corner Specialist, Lucky 7, Sniper, Volume Shooter, and then Hot Zone Hunter on Gold. Reason why I Corner Specialist, because people leave you wide open. And top of the key, he can hit it pretty well, but at times it can be inconsistent. If you go to the corner, even the short corner, and shoot a midi, it's green. Literally, every single time, make a few shots. Obviously, try to shoot early in the shot at Lucky 7. 
and then you get that volume shooter you get a little extra you know takeover boost and then after that you can literally shoot from anywhere and it's so consistent there's games i go five for five from three and it, it's great so this is my um playmaking hyperdrive bronze to hall of fame it's not a big difference so i just did bronze quick chain quick first step handles for days hall of fame handles for days is crazy in hall of fame versus gold you need to have that unpluckable gold i don't get plucked that much if really at all dribble smart you'll be fine with that space crater hall of fame this is the badge that i get to get ankle breakers if you don't want ankle breakers you can tone that down you can get stop and go it's pretty good um obviously you're playing the twos it's also a really good twos build you can just put it on bullet passer instead of space crater ankle breaker sucks don't ever do that now these badges i change them up when i play ones but if i'm playing like twos or something i know i'm going to guard a guard this is what i do i will even like put down rim protector and get it on interceptor um but if i'm playing bigs and i'm playing the 1v1 court i drop clamps down to silver menace Menace is a good badge, but I, I'm worried about stopping post scorers. So I'm gonna do this pogo stick, Hall of Fame, um, just so that I can get contest, get a quick rebound. Post lockdown, bronze, bronze stripper. It doesn't help a whole lot post lockdown, but I mean, you just want every single stop you can get. Intimidator sucks if you're guarding guards because it does pretty much nothing against shock for shot contest. This is mainly for in the paint, trying to get just anything to help me get a stop is really what these badges are for if i get one stop two stops against the post scorer i'm happy i know this isn't a great setup to guard guards but i do well enough it is what it is so guys for my jumper this is what i'm rocking with so it is Dwayne wade ray allen and that's just it so full speed 100 ray allen easy so guys, here's all of the sauce right here. So my jump shot is that way jump shot I had on. Dribble pull up, Steph Curry's good. He actually greens dribble pull ups, believe it or not. It's weird in this game. You can green like, it's weird. So hop jumpers, Trey Young. If you see me playing 1v1s, I do the Trey Young hop all the time and the speed boost to get out of it is crazy, crazy quick. Especially like combined with Space Crater, it's crazy. So layups, long athlete, front clutches, baseline versus off one, two. Straight arm tomahawks is crazy. Clutch base turn reverses. And then Scotty Pippen with that silver um, limitless takeoff. I do the Scotty Pippen dunk every time, and it's very hard to block unless you're a big man. And I just spam that dunk in the ones courts. Uh, it, it, it's good enough. Now, I don't have on any park dunks. Um, I might experiment with some because they are pretty good, but they have some tendency to get blocked. So, this is my handles, okay? Now, the only thing I'm gonna let you guys know that size of escape packages, just choose LeBron or Trey Young if you didn't do the curry slide thing, because I have curry slide on here, the curry dribble moves. That's why it says normal. So quick, Lonzo, Luca, LeBron, Damian, Doncic, Butler, and that's my, that's everything right there. All right guys, thank you for coming down to watch my video. I will have a gameplay video coming out very, very soon, probably the same day as I drop this video. Please comment, like, subscribe. My socials are in the description. Follow me everywhere, especially my Twitch. Until next time, see you later.